Welcome to Steve Sparkles Corner, and this is it. This is the one you've all been waiting for. The one, the only, Jin Bao Hercules becoming the mighty Hercules instead of being Dr. Crank. Mad Mix. Heavy Labor. Neck Break. Instructor and X Graver to become the mighty Jin Bao Hercules. So I'm going to start by prepping the feet, the arms, and then prepping heavy labor and Dr. Crank the genius. Yes. Oh, well, you know, I think I'll just roll it and see what I end up doing. So, let's start with Mad Mix. So basically what you want, you want to do is just bring out the entire inch. And then after bring that hinge out, I have to return the plug to the correct orientation. Now I'm going to be actually discussing this piece here in assembly. All right. Now, I'm going to actually be doing having this prep for the traditional method of having having uh, Hercules being supported on on this piece here, like so. Because that's traditionally how how the Devastator has been supported is on Scavenger's arms. So I'm going to be continuing that tradition with my assembly. Plus I'm thinking it's going to look better. Now I've already got this one orientated correctly. All right, got it looking kind of nice, nice. I guess I'm still a lot of whack here with scavenger slash uh, I apologize for calling them by their uh, proper names. Uh, Structor. I'm just so used to calling them by, you know, their traditional names. All right. Now I got some heels for action. Now I'm going to go ahead and prep the heavy labor worker. It is as easy as it looks. Just saying, it is as easy as it looks. Now, when you're putting together the Jim Bow Devastator, what you're going to want to do is Put legs in sideways and turn to lock it into place and that's not going anywhere. And turn and it is not going anywhere. Now I want to turn, I got it together, I'm going to turn this one so that way I get a nice A-frame stance. There we go. And now I have to raise the camera up. I'm probably gonna have to actually get the small tripod. I'll be right back, because this is getting pretty big. So unfortunately I got this big jump from what I use normally for reviewing and this. So yeah. All right, so now let's do the hook master. All right, so I'm gonna take the crane off just for convenience reasons, I want to show you something that Jim Bao did that's very unique that I like about the Hercules, about the reverse for Hercules and why I picked this one. Going to bring the head up. Alright. 
Now, this one's got two plugs on it, so I have to figure out which one is right. I have to swing down so that way I can put hook slash Dr. Crank on. So I think it's this one. Now I want to do this like normal Devastator first, and I want to do it like the Jim Bow Devastator. So basically, the plug will plug into here. This will then clamp on and push these two together. Now that's what's going to make separating the Jim Bow Hercules way hard. And because this uses the Jim Bow uh, plug, that means I can't push it in sideways and then turn it. I'm going to try to figure out if there's any way I can do that. but I got Dr. Crank onto the Jim Bow Devastator. Now, you got a half circle, which basically tells you it plugs into here. You got two circles. I can't hear y'all in here, by the way. I just figured I'd mention it to y'all in case y'all don't want that conversation to be recorded because they might hear it. All right. Now, that's Dr. Crank. Now, let's get this one ready for combination. Pull the hand off. This is, I like this little method here to make, make Hercules' front arm. Now, because of how it's designed, you gotta basically take this off, remove this, then move this up. Swing this out, making Jin Bao's elbow. Swing this around. I'm gonna pull that up because they're for convenience. Fold this around, fold this around. Then I'm gonna swing these out using these hinges. And now I've got the elbow. Pull this forward. Take the hand. Now I'm gonna plug it this way because I prefer to have my fist orientated with the elbows for posability reasons and holding guns and swords. And then it locks around the hand, locking the hand in place. You've now got the elbow. So now we use a flat, use a screwdriver because easy. And I just knocked down Jim Bow Hercules. Bring him back up because I knocked him down. Now, Bringing out the plug, bringing out the other plug. All right. I do like this unique method of putting the arms on. Bring it in, turn it, and it locks into place. Now, so that way I don't lose this, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put it right here. 
gonna put it right here next to the scoop. All right. Now bring up bone crusher slash net break. Slide the fist out, put it right there. Swing that up. Release those. Again, I wanna orientate it for the, for the elbow. Pull the plug out. Now I wanna take the hand, hold it. Swing this up, swing this up. Again, I wanna rotate it the same way. Lock it together. Now, I wanna turn this this way, and this way to make kind of like a cufflink thing. And then again, Okay, now this is where the Jim Bow Hercules still has the light up LED. It's there. I don't know if you're seeing it too well. Yeah, I think you're seeing it. I want to take the, take the crane arm, move the Jim Bow Hercules out of the way. And this is where Jim Bow Hercules makes it obvious it is Jim Bow Hercules and not the normal Hercules. Basically, you can, this is very hard to do because there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of pegs in here. First off, it doesn't have the wheel back here, so I'm gonna start from the back. I'm gonna try to separate the crane arm. It is very, very hard to do this. And I am not joking, it is very hard. I've actually seen another reviewer have to use a hobby knife to pull his crane apart. It completely separates. Now, it is not broken. It is meant to separate. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, because the peg is on one half of the crane, it allows the offset for Devastator. However, you have these two pegs. You can basically take these and set them up like this. One on one side, one on the other side, and it'll turn it into more of a heroic backpack. There he is. Jin Bao Hercules, AKA Knockoff Hercules, AKA Devastator. Now, it's your standard combiner articulation. No ball joints is operating anything on them. None. And as usual, now, it does thanks to how these connector ports are set up, you do have a knee bend. And as a knockoff, knee bends and combiners period is kind of a 50-50, so that's a good thing. But as usual, you're only gonna get so much backwards articulation before the backpack from heavy labor and Dr. Crank gets in the way. And of course, because this is a Devastator, the feet articulation, this is kind of like, well, not really there to speak of. All right. Now, surprisingly enough, it does have, because of how heavy labor transforms, you do have something of a waist joint, but unfortunately, again, heavy labor's backpack is, will basically kind of make that non existent. It does have mostly a full, depending how you have the crane, full shoulder 
360 shoulder movement because I got the split crane how Jim Bell Hercules is supposed to have it that's just going to get in the way of course you got your standard straight and then that much elbow flex wrist is basically just up and down no nothing else to speak of surprisingly enough on this arm you'll get more more almost a full 360 because of how this is stored of course it has the exact same elbow joint and same you know articulation now the head because of how Jin Bao is done is basically the head is just you know up and down just to accommodate transformation really because basically Dr. Crank completely goes from this way basically goes from here to here so that's where head stores more mostly and if you had the crank and devastator style then the crane then you could actually unpeg this and then do that but it's just now as you saw from the unboxing video which you probably watch that first Jim Bao comes with weapons yes weapons and the irony here is the weapons are hand pacific as in they tend to go in one hand but not the other go fig so we're going to start with the first accessory and that is his for his left hand yeah his left hand or your right hand depending on how you're looking at it let's not overthink this okay you have the hercules gun which is actually made from the various components of the normal hercules weapons which combine together which then this is actually a direct ripoff sculpt of you can even see each of the one two three four five six, six weapons in it sort of it's confusing you can even see the peg for one of the guns two of the guns pegs that's a bit confusing so this gun to put this gun in you put the peg into the peg hole and the sandwich is right here which are end results and mind you this is the only real part that Jim Bow Hercules actually can say you know could have done with a little bit of reworking because a joint and the thumb would have helped so there's his gun now here's where things get a bit weird Jim Bow Hercules comes with the sword which only looks good from one side unlike the gun which looks good from both sides because you look at the side like oh. yeah mm -hmm. devastator with the sword Tell me if this is as funny as I think this is, because this is definitely hysterical. So, the sword goes into his right hand. Now this is where the peg hole positioning and being exact same in both hands is a bit confusing because when you put the sword in, this is what happens <laughs> yes and now when you look at it from this side and then you look at the gun from 
from this side. It's is definitely all right. So now he fell down. <laughs> Get up. Get up, big guy. All right. All right, sword popped out. Well, that's no big. I can pay right, pay right back in. All right. Get Madnix back in place. Pull this gun forward. Tighten. All right, that up. There we go. Now we have Jen Bao Hercules and all his glory. Yes, he does look good, in my opinion. This is the mode that you actually get. Get this. This is the mode you would get any Devastator set for. It is the combined mode. The big. And I have to admit. He looks good. He looks very good. And I admit, I do like the crane being split on the back. That is so unique. I have to give credit for this idea here. Having the separate robot modes split their tools. That is so, so unique. And then having the big reveal in the combined form the crane's actually meant to be separated. That is brilliant. I love this. And there you have it. Jinbao Hercules and his combined form. As always, thank you for watching. And to our viewers who regularly watch but don't subscribe, a thank you. And for our subscribers, a big thumbs up and a thank you. And to our notification squad who clicked subscribe and the bell a double double triple duper super duper thank you and to our patreon a really big thank you as always thank you for watching the combined gen bow hercules review and i have to admit i like him i'm putting him on display right at the end of this video and i know where thank you for watching peace out and palm in your face